Mike Suzek from Joystick.com here to catch you up on the controversy surrounding Ouya's Free the Games Fund. Announced in July, Ouya committed $1 million to the program, which would have the console manufacturer match successfully raise Kickstarter funds of at least $50,000 in exchange the developer's game would remain exclusive to Ouya for at least six months. In August, two games were funded on Kickstarter as part of the program, Elementary My Dear Homes by Victory Square Games and Gridiron Thunder by Mogo TXT. The Elementary My Dear Holmes campaign was suspended by Kickstarter just one week before it was set to end. Sam Chandola, the game's creator, said that while Kickstarter never gave a reason for the suspension, he did address concerns with Kickstarter over suspicious accounts that backed the game, some using celebrity names and photos. As a result, the project's creators were accused of fraudulent actions in order to earn money from Ouya's program. Kickstarter declined to comment on the project's suspension. As for Gridiron Thunder, its campaign ended successfully with $171,009 in funding from just 183 backers, an anomaly in the crowdfund space as our own crowdfund bookie tracks an average of $50.59 per Kickstarter backer in the game space over the prior three months. However, Ouya threw its support behind Mogo TXT. It said that, quote, Based on our program's guidelines, the team behind Gridiron Thunder have successfully qualified to receive the match, and we couldn't be more excited to see them bring their game, along with their supportive community, to Ouya. Despite the ongoing allegations of manipulation from its first two eligible games in the program, Ouya CEO Julie Ehrman announced that the Free the Games Fund would not be suspended or altered in any way. Ehrman said, quote, Recently, the intention behind our Free the Games Fund, to provide additional funding to crowdfunded games bound for Ouya and enable developers to make more of them, seems to have been lost. This response surprised us. We thought this was going to be great. How could it not be? Indie developers didn't share the same sentiment. Sophie Holden, creator of Rose and Time on Ouya, announced she will be pulling the game from Ouya's store, saying, quote, It became very apparent to me that the company does not support indie developers who need the support most, and that they are incapable of ever correcting their mistakes. I'm simply no longer comfortable supporting the company. Mike Bithel, creator of Thomas Was Alone, responded to the situation in Ouya's comment section, saying Ehrman's response, quote, isn't an acceptance of criticism or an explanation of how clearly dodgy as hell schemes are being supported by Ouya publicly. He continues, Ehrman's response reads like a press release from a console company locked into a foolish policy and using aspirational language to shift the blame, weirdly, onto its critics. Chandola told us that he received interest from a few venture capitalists, and that until he hears back from Ouya, Victory Square Games will likely not move forward with Ouya exclusivity. And for Gridiron Thunder, Mogo TXT CEO Andrew Wan said the game will ship on September 30th and denied any ongoing scrutiny, saying, quote, Kickstarter conducted a full investigation and found nothing wrong with our campaign. This is conclusive and our campaign came to a successful close last Sunday. I've answered the same question many times and I have nothing more to add. There is nothing left to discuss.